Hello, what's up YouTube photographer Ronix with an tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can easily save time color grading in Photoshop. So by this I mean that you can easily save and apply the color grading to your images by using a single click. So if at all you feel like this video is going to be helpful, I request that you hit the like button on this video so that YouTube can push and recommend this video to many people out there. And this is also going to help the channel grow in the long run. So right now, this is the image that we are going to be demonstrating on. And in this tutorial, I'll show you I can easily create your LUTs for color grading or your presets within Photoshop to help you color grade faster and easily so that you can save tons and tons of time. You, you know, most times when we have a number of images, we don't want to go through creating all the coloring and we want to have a uniform color for our images. So in this tutorial, you're going to be learning how to do all that in Photoshop. So the other thing you have to take into consideration right now I'm using Photoshop 2020 is always make sure that everything or your image is on a background or merge layer. So if I told you I've been retouching and you want to create your preset, make sure you merge all the layers that you have within the layer panel right here. Make sure you press Shift Command E if I told you you're using Mac. Then if I told you you're using PC, use Shift Control E and that is going to merge and create only a single layer here. So if at all you don't create this layer, it means your LUT or preset is not going to be saved well and it may not work well with your images after creating it. So make sure you only have one layer. So with that done, we're just going to go come straight and start coloring this image. So just going to come right here and you're going to create a hue and saturation adjustment layer. Then come under the mask and simply go through the reds and I'm just going to take the lightness of the reds down just like that. Then I'm also going to come to the yellows and also take the lightness down. So you can come and adjust this to uh, the one of your liking. I'm just going to leave it around there and also do the same for the reds just like that. So depending on the color that you want basically. So this is okay. So you can see the before and after for just the hue and saturation adjustment layer. So I'm just going to come and create a black and red adjustment layer. And with this, I'm just going to come down to the blend mode and change it to multiply and come to the opacity and simply uh, drop down the opacity. So always make sure to take every adjustment to the maximum because after applying your light or preset, you have the opacity option. So whichever thing that you're applying on the image, Make sure you do it to your satisfaction because when you apply it to your satisfaction, it means that it is going to be working better. And if at all you feel like it's overdone, you can reduce it. So after that, I'm just going to come and create another adjustment layer. And that is going to be the selective color adjustment layer. So with this, I'm just going to come and add blacks to the image just like that. And simply cool down the image by adding more blues. So you can as well come to the reds and also add some tiny bit of yellows. That is okay. So after doing this, the next thing I'm going to do for this, I'm simply going to come and add some contrast within the image right there and just come and turn up the contrast. So let me show you a quick before and after for the color grading process. So this is the before and after. So if I told you what you feel like you're comfortable with it as a preset, you can stop right here. So let me just add one more adjustment. That is the color balance. And I'm just going to come to my highlights. I'm just going to add a greenish color to my highlight. Just like that. A tiny bit is okay. And I could come and add a cooling filter or a cooling filter to the shadows. And add a little bit of greens and cyans to my shadows. So this is okay. And you can see before and after for just the color balance before, after. So when you feel like this is okay as a preset for you, you can see that every adjustment is on the separate layer and it is not in a, in a group. So you have to make sure that all these adjustments are not in any kind of group. So if at all you group this and you try saving the preset all that, it is not going to be saved very well or it may have issues creating or saving it. So what you have to do, with these out of the group and they are not grouped, just come right here to file. Right here. So just come to file and you come to export and you come to color lookup tables. 
So when you come to color lookup tables, remember LUT is a short form for lookup tables. So with this, you can come and add corporate information and always make sure that the green the grid point rather is 32 and it is set to medium and make sure you save it as a cube remember we want it to save time or save us time so this is going to be faster when it comes to using a lot in photoshop so make sure you select cube and simply come and press ok so you can rename your lot uh, in whatever way that you want so for this case i'm just going to name it because today is a saturday i'm just going to name it to Sa saturday lat and save it on the desktop so after that just come and simply press save so the lat has been uh, saved and what we want to do we want to prove if at all the lat is the same as the adjustments that we did to the image so i'm just going to group this and press ctrl command g on the keyboard and just hide this so just select this and how to load your lat into photoshop Make sure you select the background layer and come to adjustments and come to color lookup. Then come and select or click on load 3D LUT right there and it is going to open your finder and just come to the desktop. Remember our LUT was named Saturday. So just going to come and press and that is what we have and simply click on open. So it has already applied the color grading and you can see the before and after for just that LUT. And also, there is no difference between this and this. So basically, this is how to apply the LUT. And if at all you feel like it's too much for your liking, just come to the opacity and simply drop down or reduce on the opacity of your LUT. So basically, this is how to save time color grading by creating your own custom-made presets. And if at all you want to purchase or buy my skin tone LUTs, the link is in, is in the description of this video. So if at all you feel like you want to support this channel for the content that I always drop for you, make sure to check or click on the link in the description to get my lights and also my retouching essentials pack and also my skin retouching and color grading course. So this is all for this tutorial. And if at all you have loved this, don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed to this channel, Ronix from Ronix Photography, thank you for watching and see you in yet more amazing shows and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.